Hi, mira, San Konnichiwa. Hello, everyone. ¿Qué dice mi gente? Today is going to be very special because I'm going to be talking about two of the hottest teams in all Japanese baseball. And these two teams, they were in the last place last year. And now, this year, in 2021 season, they are in the first place. And it looks like there is no stopping these two teams. Before I go there, I'd like to work on you too. Rami Chan, no. Project Cuban Seki News this. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell. Three, two, one. Yoro con de gets. I'm going to be talking about the Oryx Buffaloes under Nakajima's Kantoku. Nakajima's Kantoku took the team last year, the second half of the season, and now this year, as the sec basically second year as a Kantoku, he has done a tremendous job with the team, putting this team together. Uh, this is a very young team, and, and it looks like these guys are going to win the championship so far this year. Tremendous job. Very good. The way uh, Nakajima Kantoku uses the, the young players has been tremendous, and that's the reason why Oryx Buffaloes is in the first place right now. So we have to give credit to the Kantoku who has done a tremendous job. And this time, Nakajima's Kantoku, all this credit is for you. Now, Oryx Buffaloes, 133 games played, 66 and 51 with 16 tie games, two and a half games above Chivalote Marines. Bogioritsu, 3.34, second in the league in Bogioritsu. And I'm surprised because the pitching staff that Oryx has have is tremendous, tremendous pitching staff. Now, now batting, 251 batting average is number one. 126 on runs is number one. If 124 runs batted in is number two in the Pacific League, tremendous job. This guy has been able to put it together. They have in the top 10 of the best hitters, they have four players in the top 10. It's, it's, it has been unbelievable. And two of those players most likely will win a title because we got Yoshida who's batting the, who's winning the batting title with 339 batting average at this point with 21 home runs and 72 RBIs. Most likely he's going to be the batting title holder this year again. And number two in home runs, so Sugimoto got 30 home runs, leading the league in home runs right now at this point, batting 303 with uh, 30 home runs and 77 RBIs. That's really, really good. And now, what, what has been very, very um, consistent this year as well, and the reason why they're doing really, really good is because the guys in front as well. Amune has done a tremendous job. He got the position. He's doing good. He never let it go at this point. I mean, he's hitting 286. Seven home runs, 37 RB, RBIs, doing tremendously. I mean, this guy can play. This guy plays everywhere. And the way he plays, he plays really, really good baseball. So he has seven triples right now and, at this point. And I, I, one, of, one of the things that I want to point out as well is that he only has 56 strikeouts. 56 strikeouts and 497 plate appearances. I mean, you're talking about... That's, that's, that's 11, 11 strikeout per 100 bats. That's, that's really, really good. This guy's going to put the ball on play, no matter what. So, on base percentage, he's also doing tremendously. On base percentage, he also is doing really, really good. 348 on base percentage. I mean, this guy's getting on base a lot, a lot. On top of that, Fukuda. Fukuda as well, doing a tr tremendous season. He's having a tremendous season. 286, one home run in 21 RBIs. He got nine stolen bases. I mean, he got 46 strikeouts. These guys don't strike out at all, both of them. And when you look at the other players like Yoshida, Yoshida only got 26 strikeouts in 456 plate appearances. From Ichiban to Joe Wang, these guys don't strike out at all. I mean, that's, that's, that's amazing. They're going to put the ball on plate. You know, so once once you have guys like that, it's it's easy for the Kantoku to to put some kind of a strategy, and and he has a lot of confidence that they got they, they're gonna put the ball on play, so it's really really good. Now, when you talk about the pitchers, now you got Yamamoto who's seventeen wins right now at this point, he's winning the triple crown, seventeen wins, uh -huh. 
1.46 ERA, 193 strikeouts. Unbelievable. This guy is Japan ace. Now, he's going to win those crowns, all right? So, and then second in the list and best pitcher is Miyagi, the rookie. 12 wins right now. He's number two. Three point, I mean, 2.31 Boguritsu ERA. That's that's also number two. So, all these Buffaloes, they have everything they need to win the championship. They have so many guys. They have a great motivation, winning for titles at this time of the, and, and during the season. And when you have guys trying to win a title at this point during the season, that's the motivation you need that is going to push the player. So, all these Buffaloes, most likely at this point, they're going to win the championship. And the reason why is because Nagajima Kantoku has done a tremendous job putting these guys together, putting this team together. So all the credit goes, all the credit goes to Nagajima Kantoku on this one. And now I'm going to move forward to the Central League. Now I'm going to be talking about Jakuruto Swaros. Jakuruto Swaros played 129 games, 68 and 45 record with 16 tie games and magic number nine. Yes, magic number nine. At the beginning of the season, Jacuruto Swallows lost the first three games. And we all thought, wow, they're going to be just, just like last year, finishing in the last place. But Takatsu Kantoku had a different approach. He had a different mentality. and He had a plan, and he used it throughout the whole year. And that is why Jacuruto Swallows has a magic number right now. Has a tremendous job. But sometimes you can see the manager managing the team when it's needed. And that's what... Takasu Kantoku is doing right now. He's managing the team really, really well. So, and that's the reason why they are where they are right now. So, Boguritsu, 3.34 Boguritsu. That's a number two in the league. That's really, really good. Even thought, even thought that and the Boguritsu, individual Boguritsu, and the top eight, Jakuruto Swallows pitchers, they're not even there. But they have a 3.34 ERA second in the league. Can you ima imagine that? So that'll tell you that Takasu Kantoku, the way he's using the pitchers has been has been tremendously. Now, I'm going to move now to the hitters. We all know how good Murakami is. We know how good um, Yamada is, how good Aoki is. And But the story this year so far has been show me. Show me has been the story right from the beginning. I mentioned him from, from the beginning as one of the best lead of guys in the game. And look at the numbers that he's putting right now. 296 with 13 home runs and 57 RBIs. 21 stolen bases. The only negative things that I can see is he strike out a lot. He got 139 strikeouts so far. But who cares? He got seven doubles. All right? Seven doubles. And he's batting 346 with running his current position. That's really, really good for leadoff man. So a lot of people thought, wow, he, he cannot be a leadoff man because he struck out a lot. But he has proved, he has proven himself that he can be a leadoff man and very productive leadoff man. And that's the reason why he has been the most, the most consistent player so far as a leadoff man that Yakuruto has. Now, of course, Let's talk about Murakami. This guy's legit. I mean, you know, he's the, he's 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 gonna be the cleanup hitter of Japan pretty soon, Japan team, because the numbers that he's putting so far, it will show you, it will tell you the reason why. Even though Murakami is hitting 280, he got 38 home runs leading the league in home runs and 105 RBI second in the league, just by one RBI. Now he's only he only has 117 strikeouts, so which is really, really good. What is amazing about Murakami also is he's, he got 93 walks. 93 walks. Outstanding. Outstanding. Now, on base percentage, it's a 407. 407 on base percentage. And he's batting 300 runners current position. OPS. OPS right now is 990. Wow. Unbelievable. So when you look at Murakami, you're thinking, wow, this guy is, 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 should be the MVP of the league. And I can wait until I see Murakami hitting 
40 home runs this season and also getting 100 walks and 100, RB, 100 plus RBIs. That's really, really good. Now, when you look at Yacuruto Swallows, they have a lot of motivations right now, not only to win the championship, but also individually. Uh, Ogawa, Ogawa is 9-5 right now. He's, he's going to go for his 10th win. And uh, it may, it may, he may have two more outings. Even though they only have 14 games, who knows, maybe three outings, depending on how, if he, if he, if he gets the first, they may use somebody else. But other than that, he's, they're going to they're gonna try for Ogawa to get his 10th win so far. Murakami is going for the home run king, RBI king. He's going to make sure he's going to stay in the game, make sure he gets at least two titles and hopefully win the MVP. And Xiaomi has a very strong motivation hitting 300. I mean, that's not easy to be to be able to hit 300 in the MPB. So he has a very good chance to hit 300. So all these things, a very, very strong motivation. Yamada is going for 100 RBIs as well. So Yakuruto Swallows on to the manager, Takatsu Sam. He is doing a tremendous job to putting this team together, and that's the reason why Yakuruto Swallow has magic number right now. So, two teams that were in the last place last year, now they are fighting in the first place to win the championship this year. Oryx Buffaloes and Yakuruto Swallows. So, if you like this episode, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell. Three, two, one, Yorokonde gets.